All right, welcome back to this episode. In this episode, we are going to tackle the brakes. But first, I got some packages in the mail, so let's check it out what I got. Uh, got some oil for the oil change, oil filter, and uh, in this right here, we got some uh, tank grips. This one is a uh, clutch and brake lever along with the master cylinder are already built into it so i'm gonna be installing that today as well just checking it out make sure uh it's gonna work looks like it will it's an amazon uh amazon special but uh it looks like it's in good quality so right here what i'm trying to do is remove the brakes from the brake line but um it's the the pistons are are seized and stuck and I can't really move the, the brake pads so I'm trying to put it back to the to uh, to get it mounted and use the leverage from that to take it off but it's still like I, I gotta take it apart and remove the, the, the brake pads that way I can put it back in so it was being a pain in the butt but I'll figure it out I always do Alright, so what I'm gonna do right here is basically use the, the C clamp to push the pistons in, basically to break them loose because they are, like I said, C's and it, it just didn't want to move. Um, and then that way I can I can pull the the pistons out. I don't have the actual piston pullers, so I end up using uh, pliers and just do it very carefully so that it doesn't gouge them. But I do recommend having the proper tools to do this because it, it wasn't it wasn't easy. Alright, after getting the pistons out, I am cleaning them up. It had all kinds of gunk in there. Uh, really hard stuff as well. Uh, too, I wasn't able to get the footage of pulling them out somehow. Uh, my camera didn't record, but uh, here I'm just I'm just cleaning them up, make sure they're they're clean. And remember how I was saying that you gotta do it carefully so you don't gouge them. Well, I gouged this one. This one was being a really pain in the butt to get pulled out, but I think it's gonna be fine. It's not really on the area where it seals. Uh, it's all, all at the very end, so I think it'll be fine. I, I don't think I'll have any leaks on it. Um, so I'm gonna keep keep it going. There was so much junk inside that the brake caliper. Uh, there were like nasty, gunky things. So I was just trying to clean as much as I can. Um, this this setup is gonna be temporary, anyways. I'm gonna I'm gonna be upgrading to a Jixer front end. So I'm I'm just trying to get this to work. So um, until I get all the parts I I need for for the for the Jixer. But you can see right here, I'm pulling out all the, the seals. I'm putting obviously new seals on it. Uh, just cleaning out really well so that I don't have any issues. Putting on the new seals is pretty straightforward. There's two seals, the inner and the outer. The the thicker seal goes on the, the the inner, and then the thinner seal goes on the outer. You can't really mess it up. It just it only goes in one way. So just take your time, make sure it's seated right, um, and then reinstall the pistons. You want to add a little bit of lube. I use the the brake fluid to 
to lube up the piston as well as the the seals on the on the inside that really helps uh put sliding the, the pistons back in All right, time to put everything back together. Just pretty straightforward, put it back together the way you take it off. Uh, as you can see here, I'm not using new new brake pads. Like I mentioned earlier, I am upgrading the, the front suspension and that's gonna come with new brake, calipers, um, rotors and all that. So I'm not gonna be using this anyway. This, this is just temporary. So I'm just gonna use what I have. There's still enough brake life in there. Um, should be good. All right, next on the list to do is the the handle levers, the the brakes, and the the clutch. So this this uh, kit that I got, it, it comes with a mass, the newer style master cylinder already built into it. So um, plus the the old ones jacked up anyway. The master cylinder is frozen, and the bracket or the the reservoir it, it's all cracked. So I can't use this anyway. So I'm just gonna. Basic. That's why I just got the the whole kit. It's fairly cheap too. Again, it's Amazon. I'm just putting it on for now. I'm not gonna tighten it up because uh, I still gotta adjust the position where I want the lever to be, so it's comfortable and easy to uh, to grab. All right, the clutch side is a little bit more involved because in order for me to pull the clutch lever out, I have to slide the whole thing out of the, hand the handlebars. So that means I gotta take everything off from the, the what do you call that? The, the grips, the sliders, uh, and the turn signal assembly. So all that's gotta all that's gotta come out. And this thing's being a pain. It didn't wanna get unscrewed, so I had to uh, get creative to get it all out.
<laughs> at this point I was just getting super frustrated because I can't seem to get any pressure on, on the calipers so um, <laughs> I was just trying everything I was, I've been bleeding the brakes forever uh, but I noticed that when you go slow and slow pressure on, on the lever it, it you can see the bubbles come out so I was doing that for a little bit um, and that seems to work So many bubbles. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, quick recap of what I've done. Uh, I did get to ride the bike about 100 yards back and forth and the stupid helicopter, so hold on. Can you like stop flying in circles? I need to do an outro. All right, I'm back. So um, again, quick recap of what I've done so far. Um, I rebuilt the brakes, so the brakes are rebuilt, but I can't, I don't know if, I, if it's just airing it, what's going on, but it still feels super spongy. Um, so I'm doing this little trick that I've learned. Um, I guess if you crack it open a little bit and leave it all, uh, overnight or two, it, it'll help uh, push the air out. Um, hoping to get a little bit more um, pressure on it, feedback, because right now it's, it's not good. Um, so that's that for the brakes. Um, I did ride the bike about 100 yards back and forth. Uh, the petcock, it, it's done, so. It's kinda hard to see, but the wheel's coming out of that little hole, which means the diaphragm on the petcock is bad. rebuild kit for it because I was just basically mixing and matching parts from the Amazon one and it, it just didn't work so uh, I gotta drain the, the tank again and change the petcock hopefully this is the last time because I'm getting sick of it and oh one more thing I need to do is adjust the, the clutch but that'll be on the next one uh, other than that that's basically where I'm gonna leave it at I'm just waiting for parts and once I get those parts, I can hopefully ride it. So, hopefully, you guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Again, if you guys like it, uh, help uh, hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.